Hey everyone, in this video we'll be learning about a messaging center alternative for our pop-up page to bring back the data to the calling page. So we won't be using messaging center inside our Xamarin Forms project. Here we'll be using the normal coding in order to get the data out of the pop-up page. So here I will be using rg.plugin.popup that is a plugin which is a open source and we can use this plugin to generate any type of pop-up inside our Xamarin Forms project. So here I will be installing our plugin that is rg.plugin.popup but before that here let us create one UI where we will be creating one button which when get click opens up the pop-up. Alright, so here we successfully created one button which when get clicked is going to call this event handler that is our button click event handler. Now let us install that plugin that is our rg.plugin.popup. So here before that let's create one page that is our pop-up page and name it as something like my pop-up page and then create a new content page so whenever that button is clicked inside our main page then our my pop-up page.xaml.cs is going to be called now we are going to install that plugin that is our rj.plugin.popup so here i'll just add that plugin inside our xamarin forms project and add it to the shared android and ios now our next work is to read the documentation of rg.plugin.popup so we'll go to the wiki session of the uh, rg.plugin.popup and we'll be going through the getting started guide where it tells us to add this configuration as well as this line of code inside our ios project and same goes for the android too so let me just maximize this uh, id and then let me add that line of code before xamarin pumps in it so it does not need any type of initialization it directly gets fitted inside the ios and same goes for the android too so here let me add that line of code and then put it inside uh, our android project that is our main activity.cs now it's time to change the content page to a pop-up page so in order to do that we will be initializing our pop-up page with the help of this namespace so you can see this rg that gets uh, inherited from our rg.plugin.popup page that gets initialized inside the page to convert this content page to a pop-up page so same thing goes for uh, .cs2 so finally we have created our page that is our content page to a pop-up page now let us design our pop-up ui with some basic frame where padding is 10 and uh, I'll be putting one label that is going to tell that this is a little pop-up page so here the text color will be black for the frame and then I'll put that frame to a center so this is basically a pop-up and then uh, we'll be adding ok as well as cancel inside the pop-up page and uh, what happens when ok button is clicked as well as what happens when the cancel button is clicked so we need the data inside the calling page so our main page is the calling page which gets uh, its data from our pop-up page so in order to implement this feature i'll be presenting you the two ways that is sending the string as well as sending the object in the form of model class so here let us suppose the first scenario is sending the string so it is handled with the help of event handler string so this string gets triggered whenever as button is clicked so let us suppose whenever the uh, user on the pop-up clicks on s and then what happens do we want really want to send this data to the calling page or not so in order to do that here i'll be creating on variable which is going to take this room as a variable string to the calling page as well as the calling view model here you can see in this line number 21 i am going to send this selected country to the calling page as well as calling view model so here the selected country is going to be sent to the calling page that is our main page.xaml so selected country i'll be selecting it 
and now this selected country is going to be sent as soon as the OK button is clicked so you might have any type of data that is inside your pop-up page which needs to be sent back to the calling page as well as the calling view model so we can send a model class and bind it with data and send uh, in the form of JSON string to the calling page as well as calling our view model so we can do that but as of now I'm just sending a string and uh, you can send the whole model class too in order to do that you will just create one model class that is uh, public class let us suppose uh, my class and then add two properties that is either the integer uh, let us suppose the ID and then uh, you can also send the anything any property like um, uh, my property name is a uh, name so now ID and the name uh, might be there inside the uh, pop-up page which needs to be sent to the main page dot xaml as well as uh, need to be sent to the view models too so in order to do that uh, we'll be serializing this uh, my class object and then adding this uh, data uh, inside the ID and the name of that class object so this class object is going to uh, get that whole uh, data and then bind it inside a uh, json string which need to be sent to the main page dot xaml dot cs let us suppose this user want to send a model class to the calling view model as well as the main page dot xaml dot cs so here he will be adding the data inside the model class uh, with the property value of id as uh, uh, the id that is 22 or anything that you like and as soon as the ok button is clicked on the pop-up so this is the data that a uh, user want that is a model class with the objects he wants the data inside the main page.xaml.cs so in order to do that he will just serialize that whole uh, class object that is my class object and send it to the uh, calling view model as well as the uh, main page.xaml.cs that is our calling page so let us suppose we are going to send the simple string to the main page.xaml.cs and we'll come back to the later how we can send the class object to so as of now let us send the string to the calling uh, class that is main page.xaml.cs or the view model so in order to do that here we'll be uh, getting the page information about from where we are going to send the data and uh, here my pop-up page is the page where we are going to get the data from to the calling page that is our main page.xaml.cs so here page info dot here you can see data event handler event is going to be triggered from this page and it will keep on continuing till it gets the data out of the my pop-up page.xaml so here we are going to get the data from our pop-up page now we will be creating one variable which is going to get the data out of the pop-up page that is our uh, user data so here we will be performing any type of operation that is the data that was sent by the user from the pop-up page is going to be handled over here that is the new user data is going to provide us the data that comes up from our pop-up page so here let us suppose here I am going to create one alert which uh, displays uh, the information that was provided by the pop-up so here you can see the new data variable uh, that is a string as of now in our context so here will be uh, give, displaying one alert where the data uh, gets sent from the finally here you can see after registering one data event handler which gets data from the pop-up now it's time for the user to send user from our main page or from the view model to the pop-up page so in order to do that here we'll just add this line of code that is line number 31 await pop-up navigation instant dot push asynchronous and we'll be taking the user to the pop-up page where we'll be registering our data event handler to get the data from the pop-up so it gets the page information from the pop-up page and then sends the user to the pop-up page where uh, the uh, yeah, all the operations are going to happen within the pop-up page and then as soon as this pop-up is closed as soon as the ok button is clicked or cancel button is clicked or close button is clicked then we can uh, now 
tell that the data event handler take this data that is our selected country to the calling page and then remove this page with the help of avoid pop-up navigation dot pop asynchronous and that is all that is we need in order to implement the pop-up so here you can see as soon as the button is clicked then we are registering the page information and then using the uh, ok button to send the data to the calling page that is our main page dot jaml dot cs and the same goes for the view model too we can send the user directly to the pop-up page and then uh, get the data out of the pop-up page to the calling page now it's time to send the data in the form of class object so in order to do that here you can see a very simple class that is our my class which gets its data inside this object that is our my class object here we'll be sending the json data that is converting this object to a json string and send directly sending it to the calling uh, page that is our main page dot jaml dot cs so here the same thing comes up that is our user data is going to get that uh, json serialized string and then deserialize in the main page dot xaml dot cs so let's now uh, convert this uh, object to a uh, serialized string in order to convert it we have one plugin name as json converter so you can see at first we won't find it and we need to add that json converter so here you can you can see newton shop dot json is the plugin that need to be added to a dot net standard project then we are going to serialize that class object which contains data that is our id number 22 name as rome and then as soon as our uh, this page that is our page informer information dot data id when handler is registered now it's time to deserialize the data that was serialized from our pop-up page so here you can see the variable that is our uh, deserialized object which gets its data from our uh, pop-up page and now we will be using again the json converter to deserialize the string that was sent from the pop-up page so here you can see the user data is the string that need to be passed inside the parameters and then now this is the class that will help us to deserialize the same serialized string so the class that was used during the time of serialization should be used during the time of deserialization too and you can see now i can extract the property that is id as well as name with from, uh, from the pop-up page to the calling page that is our main page dot xaml dot cs so now let's check the demo Now here if I click on show pop-up then uh, a pop-up is going to display and as soon as I click on ok then then our main page.xaml.cs is going to call that the data that was sent from the pop-up. That's all for this tutorial now. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Keep in touch for next tutorials.